Bubbles, a marvelous form of entertainment, especially for children. But sometimes, just blowing the same old bubble from the same old bubble wand can be old and tiresome really fast. If you're the type of person who would like to make bigger bubbles, but not use a big old bubble wand that you can get at the dollar store, then you are lucky, because today, I'll teach you how to be the life of any party by using your fingers to blow bubbles. I'm Bobby Henches, and this is an episode of The Bobcat's Den How-To. What you're gonna need is a bottle of dish liquid or a bottle of shampoo. Now shampoo, because of its high viscosity, produces a longer lasting result. So let's use that instead. For your water, you'd either have to have a bowl with water in it or a sink. But it will get wet if you make a mistake and tip it over. So we'll use a sink instead. Now it's time to go hands on. First, what you'll need to do is to take your bottle of shampoo and squirt a dime-sized drop onto one of your hands, like so. Next, you'll have to rub your hands together to produce lather, and then rinse it quickly by using the sink for about a split second. And then rub together the wet hands to make it soapy. What you want to do is shake all that excess water off so your bubble won't slide down your arm like a slug tumbling down Mount Everest. Then make the okay hand gesture, but curl your index finger into a swirl like so. And then uncurl it slowly, and voila! You've made a vapor field on your finger. Now you'll have to blow on it gently to slowly push the vapor out of your finger to make a bubble, and in order to let go, you have to curl the index finger back into the swirl while you're blowing it to cut it off. Great! Now you've learned how to blow your bubble. But hold on a minute. Don't you want to really wow your audience with some bubble tricks? Here's three tricks that you can do with your shampoo bubbles. Do you want to feel like you have the whole world in your hands? I bet you do. First, you'll want to blow your bubble to a reasonable size using the technique that you have learned a minute ago. Cut off the airflow and your bubble should stay on your hand. Now what you'll need to do is to slowly but surely turn your hand to a horizontal position and slowly separate your index finger from your thumb until both of them are straight. The end result should look like this, a bubble on the palm of your hand. You can do anything with it. You can move your hand around a little bit to make it jiggle like jello on a subwoofer. And if you want to whisk it away like it's nothing, retain the horizontal hand position and move it around like you're drawing the half of a figure eight. And that's the whole world. You're going to need two soapy hands for this one. What you'll have to do first is to blow your bubble from your dominant hand and repeat the process as shown from the instructions of the whole world. Then, with your other soapy hand, Gently latch it onto your bubble, because if you do it hastily, it'll explode. Now you have your crystal ball. You can also attempt to make an arc shape by spreading your hands in an arc position, but that'll pop. So, yeah. Lastly, this trick is simple to do. First, you'll have to blow your bubble, like so. After you cut the air off on your first bubble, you then open your finger back up again, and you blow another small bubble inside, creating the image of a bubble within a bubble. Well, sometimes the other bubble that you're blowing might join in with the first bubble, but that's okay. At least the people could see that you're trying. And there you have it. A very exciting way to blow bubbles from your fingers. Using these techniques that you have learned, you can impress your family, your friends, or possibly your possible lover. Thanks for watching.